Yeah, I think a couple teams have more games just because they played in the holiday tournament. Mm -hmm. Hey, Will. How are you? Good to see you. Randall, yeah. The legend of Randall. <laughs> All right, looks like we are live. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Reading Hawks Field House for tonight's showing of the Lexington Minutemen versus Reading Rockets high school basketball game. Jim Murphy here with Randall Palm. We've got Wyatt Meyer on the camera as usual. And uh, we'll pause here as we check out the starting lineups for both squads this evening. Jesse Dorothy. 
All right, great starting lineups, great rendition of the national anthem. We're almost ready for tip off. Randall, what do you have for keys for victory today for the Rockets? Yeah, I wrote down a couple things, Jim. Um, I think getting Jesse going, right? He, if he gets going, he gets cooking, it frees up a lot of space for everybody else. So I think first things first, let's get Jesse going. Um, I, I love it when we attack the rim, don't settle for three pointers, uh, attack the basket. And then last game, we did a good job of getting the rebound, you know, pushing the ball, getting out quick, get a couple easy buckets. So I'm looking for the Rockets to get out to a good start against a, a good Lexington team that comes in five and three, four and two in conference. Um, back to back wins over Woburn and Wilmington. Um, tough loss to, to Burlington, who's a good team that we lost to uh, prior to that. So it should be a really good ball game tonight. Murphy to take the tip for the Rockets. Lexington with the first possession of the night. Here comes Mao. Beck and Hughes guarding him. Shot clock issues. Yeah, halted Ma the action. And Mao's a freshman, so it'll be fun to see. It's always fun to see if you know the freshmen out there and see what they can do. I so. remember that name in the football field too. He was a dynamite football player in the fall for Lexington. But yeah, ninth grader, covered by senior Beckenhues, whose strength is on the defensive side of the ball. Referees trying to uh, align the clock here. And while they're doing that, for those that you that want to stick around, we have a, a really fun halftime show. Seventh grade boys basketball here in Reading is going to run the court. We're going to call the game, so that should be fun to see the, the next generation of Reading Hoopers out there. Love it. Hopefully they don't break anything or get in trouble because it may be the last time we're invited back. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this. It looks like the Lexington players and the Reading players are uh, laughing and, and uh, having a grand old time with each other out there. It's good to see the good comp comp uh, sportsmanship. So then as soon as the ball goes up, they'll go to war, right? Yeah. That's not going to last very long, I don't think. Here we go. Lexington with the ball inbounds under the, under the rocket hoop. Mao getting physical down there with Beck and Hughes. Hunter Hayes, number two. Luke Benson, 33. First shot for Lexington is missed. Aiden Beckenhuis with the rebound. Off and running to the fast break. Physical game so far. Lexington came to play. Picking him up full court here. Hayes to Murphy. Squaring up. Luke Benson, number 33. Dribble handoff to Bex. Aiden looking to make a move. Jesse Doherty, number 10 with the ball. Rockets leading score. Looks to make a move as the shot clock winds down. In the lane, nice pass to Benson. Yes. Up for a foul. It's funny, you can already see the intensity, you know, coming off Woburn, coming off Stoneham, where we're kind of getting to where we want to get to. The, you can already see the intensity in the defense. Just a, a level up from the past couple of games that we've had. Well, Lexington Randall's historically been a, one of the best programs in the state. They're well coached, have been for years. Um, you know they're going to come to play. Their top player from a year ago, as Luke Benson makes his first free throw, C.J. Cox was a, a mm. Middlesex League MVP, transferred out, going the private school route. So they're going to need some young guys to step up and fill that scoring void here. Yeah, they start, looks like, two seniors, two juniors, and a freshman. So definitely some younger kids getting a shot here. Benson makes the second one. Here comes Mendez Steven to the basket. Kicks it out for a three-pointer. Three-pointer is wide. Good Hunter kick. Hayes with the rebound. Here comes Doherty. High screen by Murphy. Jesse, another nice look inside. Too hot for Murphy to handle. In the fall, of course, uh, Murphy making the passes to Doherty at a record clip for both of those two young men. This time it was the reverse. Yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of a dish and uh, drive and dish from Mendez, Stephen, as well as Mao. Mendez, pull up jumper, no good. James Murphy, the rebound. Reach in by number 10 on a, I'd say it was kind of a, you know, they're, they're struggling. Exactly. You, gotta, you gotta understand, as soon as the ball's possessed, you sort of have to not, don't waste those. Yeah, when, when we get the rebound, they got two or three guys, which means if you can get it out quick, you're gonna have an advantage. So we'll, we'll see if uh, we adjust a little bit there, get the rebound, kick it out to Aiden, and uh, get a transition bucket or two. Lexington with some token three-quarter court pressure here. Doherty handling the point guard duties right now. Decent ball movement, Benson to Doherty. Jesse looking to make a move in the lane. Ball is stolen by Mao, and he's off to the races with Hayes chasing. Up and in for two. Good finish. Omari Mao at the first bucket for Lexington, and Lexington's in there famous 
full court pressure early in the game, 2-2. He's smooth now. Doherty being covered by Onger. Nice move to the basket by Jesse. Donovan Jones for Lexington in the lane, looking to make a pass. Onger for three. He got it. Good luck. Early going here, five minutes left in the first. Lexington five, Reading four. Beck and Hughes looking to play high screen and roll with Murphy. Looks like an off the ball screen. I didn't see what happened, but they get it on Doherty away from the action. Jesse doesn't look like he agrees with that call. Referees. That was well off the ball. I think I think they're going to put a lot of pressure on Jesse here. We'll see if he um, how he reacts to that and, and, and looks to dish a little bit more because I think they're definitely going to try to stop him. That would be my plan if yep. I were competing against this team. Miles handling the ball now. Beck and Houston, Miles, they kick out. Good challenge. 21 Meyerberger, he makes his second three-pointer second three for Lexington today. Lexington up to an early 8-4 to four lead. Doherty one-on-one. -on -one. Flips it up with the miss. That was too easy. Yeah, the old cardinal rule of basketball, right? You got to stop the ball. A couple of early substitutions for Lexington. Stephen Cooley in the game number three. It's funny, we play a lot of teams that don't sub a lot, so it's interesting to, to, right. see, to see uh, an early sub like this. Without free, somebody in foul trouble. Free throw is missed. Murphy with the rebound. Here comes Doherty. That's a little ball movement here. A little ball movement. Hunter Hayes working his way off the ball. Good ball fake by Aiden. He takes it to the basket. Good take. Nice attack. Aggressive move by Aiden for the basket. I love to see Aiden that aggressive. Luke cutting, slashing. That's what a little more balance on, on offense. Unger take the ball to the basket on Hayes. Up and in. Lexington with the early 12 to 6 lead. Charlie O'Brien covering Aiden Beckenhuis. Aiden right to the basket. Again, very aggressive on the move. You like to see that. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Charlie O'Brien's fr another Ninth freshman grader, coming out. Yeah. I don't think he's quite ready for that speed. Take advantage of that matchup all day. Doherty covering Mendez here. Senior guard Nelson. Murphy with good defense here. O'Brien with the ball, looks to make a move. Another three-pointer by Lexington. This one's long and wide, but the offensive rebound goes to Lexington. Good aggressive takes. Stephen Cooley, 12th grader with the take. Murphy kicks it out to Hayes. Lexington doing a good job in the passing lanes here, making every pass a little bit difficult. Aiden calling for the high screen from Murphy. Again, goes right by good his pass. defender. Too nice easy. dish to Luke. Uh, Aiden Beckenus is just too much for Charlie O'Brien in the early yep. goings here. I like that matchup a lot. Reading back within four. Here comes Mendez on Doherty. Nice matchup here of two very good players, seniors. Luke Benson gets the Mendez assignment. Good really team. good job by Luke. Nice defensive possession there all around for the Rockets. Doherty looking to push the pace. Finds a good slashing cut. Benson. Good nice cut. left handed up and in. 14 to 12. Luke Hutton, Aiden going by people. I think uh, you can see Lexington wants to stop Jesse, so the other guys are going to step up and have a little more space to work, and they're doing that right now. Rockets like their man to man defense right now. Cooley looking to make a move on Murphy. Shut off on the baseline. Nice backdoor cut, but Aiden Beckenhuis is there. Slaps the ball away and a great turnover by the Rockets. Could have stopped ball there. Again, Take. aggressively to the hoop is Luke Benson. Take. Way to go. Coach Morris, he's thrilled 
with the last couple of possessions here for the Rockets. Yeah, good recovery. We got down by, what, six, eight points there. Good defense. They missed a couple shots, transition buckets. Um, Lexington, as much as they're pressure D, we've been able to get by them. You know, we've been able to get by them pretty easily. So uh, you know, we'll see if we continue to, to drive like that or, or settle for those three-pointers. And uh, it'd be great to see us continue to go to the basket hard like that. Lexington it has been known to jump into a zone. So if they mm -hmm. can't handle the perimeter in a man-to-man -man setting, you may see them here come out in a zone. Reading should be prepared for that. But you're right. Um, they're playing them tight. And the Rockets have done a nice job getting to the basket. There's no real rim protector here. Lexington doesn't right. have a ton of size, not a lot of shot blocking. Yeah, once you get past, once you get past your man, you know, it, it, definitely not an easy, easy route to the basket. But, uh, but to your point, nothing, nothing back there to really protect the rim. Get stoned them last week. You know, they went into zone. We got a little work. You know, it wasn't the, wasn't all that pretty, but we got a little practice against them uh, last Tuesday. Uh, so hopefully that pays a little bit of dividends here as if and when they do go into that zone. I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. Rockets go to the bench for the first time. Number 25 sophomore Jack Murphy. I think this is a Jack Murphy game. He's usually better against, you know, quicker players, yeah. guards, and he's a really good defensive player to help uh, Aiden Beckenhuis in the backcourt defensively. Yeah, it looks like they're coming back with their pretty much their starting lineup here. I think that that second unit for Lexington, the defensive intensity was just not quite where it needed to be. So I think Coach recognized that and put the starters back in. Yeah, I think Coach Hobbs seems to seems to want to rotate people on Doherty, not mm -hmm. get anybody too tired, have multiple people covering in most of the game. Doherty doesn't sit out, out a lot, no. uh, if ever. Um, so they're going to try to wear him down. But so far, they've done a nice job with Benson and Beckenhuis and, and Murphy and going to some other uh, other weapons out there. Looks like the, the freshman and JV teams are rolling in here, so we'll get an update on those games uh, here in a minute. Here comes Mao. Top of the key is Onger on Doherty. Physical. Jack Murph does a nice job defending Mendez. Tried to back him down, wasn't able to. Nice defensive possession again by the Rockets. Coach Morrissey has to be happy with that end of the floor so far. Ah, just Jesse got a little bit lazy with the ball there. Here comes Onger on the drive. In for two. Lexington takes a two-point lead. Here comes Benson to Jack Murphy. Aiden settling down the crew. James with his... Top of the key, looks to find Doherty. Again, this Unger is an aggressive defender. Yep. Jesse will pull it up and s shoot one and miss, back rim. Here come the Minutemen. Okay, Donovan Jones, number 23, senior forward. Doesn't look like much of a three-point shooter, but there's yeah, a second one a nice, today. Nice shot there. You can see the intensity of the starting unit is, is, is significantly higher than the, the second unit that came in. 32, Nelson Mendez, Steven, covering Murphy there on the, on the right sideline. Murphy going against Mao, he's looking to, looking to penetrate, some contact on the perimeter. Good little match up there, sophomore versus freshman. Fouls on Amari Mao, number one. Ma will grab a seat. In comes 21, Sam Meyerberg for Lexington. Another freshman. Beck and Hughes looking to move, make his move on Mendez. High screen and roll with Murphy. Ten seconds left. Aggressively the back to kicks it out to Jack Murphy. Three. Misses everything. Here comes Lexington. Ooh, front rim <laughs> on the half court shot. That's a good looking shot. Okay, so after one, we've got Redding, uh, sorry, Lexington 19, Redding 14. Nice little spurt of a run there by Lexington to close out the quarter. Yeah, you know, the, the keys to victory, my first one was getting Jesse going, and that hasn't happened yet, right? I think he's getting a little frustrated. Um, you know, the runs that we've had have really been driven off of other guys driving to get an easy bucket. So it'll be interesting to see second quarter, does he make an adjustment a little bit? Uh, maybe try to get to the basket, work off the ball a little bit, 
um, and get an, get an open look. He had a, a nice step, little step back three pointer. Nothing wrong with that shot, but you know, last couple of weeks he's had a lot of really open looks, and uh, I don't think he's going to get that today. Definitely gu being guarded a little bit closer. But I also like the strategy that Jesse sometimes does. He gets everybody else involved early. Mm -hmm. He gets Beck and Hughes in the game, Murphy, Benson, right? And then there's going to be Jesse Doherty time, right? right. At some point, they're going to need right. so, you know, an elite scorer to, to make plays. And his time will come. No matter what, he's going to end up you know, in the 18 to 24 range and you know, take some good shots and make some big buckets. And you know, when you're not making shots, sometimes the defensive end, sometimes just other parts of the game to get you going a little bit, right? And I think. Uh, you know, we'll see on the defensive end. Maybe he gets himself going there. Rockets. I do think that Rockets can, off that defensive rebound, Aiden can be a little higher and, and get the ball and be going versus kind of behind the behind the rebounder. I think we can get some easy baskets in transition if we can get the ball out. Because Lexington, Lexington does like to trap and kind of put pressure on that rebounder. Mao and Mendez defending here for Lexington. Pressuring Beck and Hughes in the backcourt. Murphy to Murphy, James looks to drive, kicks it to Benson, back out to Jack. Jack probing, then finds Doherty. Again, like we've said, this kid Monger, he's a, uh, I'm sorry, Unger, aggressive defense. He actually kind of looks like Doherty, same body yeah, style, same, same hair. haircut. <laughs> and uh, he's, he, you know what his job is today, to get yeah. his shorts all day long. Yep, Phys physical kid. James good Murphy, good take, good first step up with the left hand. Rockets cut it within three, 19 to 16. Benson to cover Mao. Maybe a little zone here. Yeah, Rockets going a little one, two, two. Lexington adjusting Six. offensively. Okay, that's one way to get out of a zone. Yeah. Onger for three. Lexington jumps out to a six point lead. Murphy to Benson to Doherty. Come on. Onger with another nice defensive play on Doherty. Another three pointer by Den Den Darren Onger. Yeah, he's, he's, he's having a heck of a game. He's come to play. I mean, Jesse's going to have to kind of match his intensity level. Two threes in a row, good defense. Rockets offense looks a little discombobulated. It's not quite, not, you know, this defense, it, it, it makes you, you want to get to a spot to set up the offense. And if you're a few feet off or you're, you know, you're having to catch it too high, it just changes the whole angles and the dynamic of the offense. And Lexington's kind of getting, you know, ready off their spots uh, just enough to cause, you know, catch, you know, Jesse's catching it 30 feet from the basket, not, not at the three point line. And that I changes think, I everything. think they need to be tougher right now. If I'm coach Morris, I'm in that huddle telling these guys to toughen up. Yeah. They're being defended. Well, yeah, right. And aggressively, you got to meet that aggressive defense with some aggressive offense and stop the laziness. And uh, that's, I think, what we're going to see here from from Doherty and crew here in the second quarter. Lexington with some full court pressure now, sensing sensing blood in the water here with the Rockets. There you go. Two on one here. Beck and Hughes to Doherty. Back to Becks. Well defended yeah. there by Lexington. Everything the but the finish. Yep. That's what you want though, right? That's what I'm talking about. Get out, you know, beat that first level of defense, get a get a layup. Let's oh. see if you step up here and do a little bit. Make it a little more uncomfortable for them. Mendez looking to back down Benson. Another three-pointer by Unger. This one misses. Beck and Hughes scrambling for the ball. Comes up Lexington. Mendez looking to take it to the hoop. Little mix up there in the paint. Good job by Beck and Hughes. Ooh, good effort. Good effort. Good defensive effort here by the Rockets. Yeah. They're doing a nice job defensively. They can close out a little bit more on the three-point shooting. They've done a nice job. All, most of Lexington's big points have come from the perimeter. Yeah. Another substitution here for the Rockets, number 14 sophomore Jake Palm, giving Luke Benson a rest. Last couple of games, guys off the bench have been hitting some threes. Jake last game, uh, 
Tran. The game before that, Shade, you know, a couple guys. So we'll see what happens with the guys come up the bench so they can give them a spark here. Another example of an uncontested three. Another one by Onger. He's having a night. Good take. Rocket's Good take. a little shell shocked early, but the great way to stem the tide is to get to the free throw line, right, Randall? I think mm -hmm. I like what Murphy did there. Take the ball hard, draw the foul, settle everybody down. Yeah, you know this game. You know you don't see a lot of teams come in here and knock down all their threes, right? And those are going to those are going to stop falling here. Then we can get the rebound, and get to run. I mean, they've made what? I'm going to guess what? Five in a row? Four in a row? Yep. And so you know they're not, that's not going to be the full game. And so you know, withstand this little bit of, of shooting uh, exhibition that's going on right now and, and go to the basket, get some layups, get some free throws. Chip Murphy away. misses both. Lexington jumps out to a 28-16 lead. Mendez aggressively to the hoop. Can't get it to fall, but a, a foul on number five, Aiden Beckenhues. Yeah, he's a banger. He did, he's not a big kid. He definitely he, wants to back you down. Yeah. Yep. crowd tonight Jim yeah Mendez Steven here missed the uh, misses his first I did run our halftime uh, thoughts of a shooting contest by a few high schoolers to get more high school kids here and it went over really well so we'll have to figure that one out a little bit great great some substitution confusion here with uh, Hayes Littlefield entering the game giving Aiden a rest hmm. Rockets little, going going big bigger. Another substitution here for Lexington. Mao in the game for Mendez. Boy, it's like a hockey game. They just keep him running in and out. In comes Thomas Trahan, giving James Murphy a rest. Lexington showing their pressure. Sophomores Jake Palm, Jack Murphy, along with Doherty, looking to break the press. Doherty forcing his way to the basket, up with the left hand. Hayes Littlefield with an aggressive rebound out to Jake Palm. Does he remain hot? He doesn't. Uh, good Murphy rebound, good luck. rebound. Yeah, good, good second effort there by Littlefield. Lexington playing with confidence. Onger with a nice crossover move. Good, well uh, defended by Palm. Get those rebounds. Rockets back in man to man. Mile looking to make a move, a little up fake. Travel. Took a couple extra hops there. Good little Rocket move, but it's shuffle the, the puppies, as they say. Lexington 29, Reading 16, 449 left in the in the half. Palmin bonds the ball to Doherty. Now, this is the key matchup right here. Ball movement, a little bit, little, little more ball movement. Doherty to Palm, Palm aggressively to the basket. Rockets maintain possession with, again, Hayes Littlefield doing the dirty work under the boards. Good take by Jake there, I don't, I don't mind that. Lexington will go into a 2-3 zone here out of bounds. Another turnover by the Rockets, and Lexington's off and running. Up and in. A little confusion on the, this is a lineup that we haven't seen much of, so a little confusion on the, on the Reading side with some of the offensive sets and out of bounds plays. Lexington up 31-16, four, four minutes left. Doherty looking, looking to back down Mao, put it up and in. Can't get it to fall. You're right, everything, ha everything seems hard tonight offensively, right? Not, not any, any smooth looks for Doherty so far tonight. <clears throat> hey, but you know, uh, as, I, as I've told my boys, not, no better way to get your shooting touch and rhythm back than getting to the free throw line. Right. Take a freebie with nobody yeah, in your take face. A, take a breath. Doherty makes the first. Luke Benson back in the game for Palm. 
quick breather for Luke. Doherty makes a second. Cuts the lead to 13. Here comes Mendez, defended by Doherty. Again, again. Donovan Jones it's with another three-pointer. He's got to be three for three. Yeah, I think he's three for three. I think uh, Unger's got to be three for three, three for four. So that won't last the whole game. So the Redding has to just recognize they can shoot, get a little more pressure on them. And then, you know, they're going to start missing at some point. And when they do, get the rebound. Good drive and dish by Doherty. The block by Mao. Lexington, the 16-point lead, he carried it. Mendez carried it, turned the ball over. Now, I, I agree with you, Randall. We, yeah. you know, those will start the public. I think Randy has to do something about yeah. it. Yeah, no, no Stop question. Stop giving token pressure on the three-point yeah. shot. Guy, Defend guy, it. The guy makes th you know, two, three in a row. you got to put his hand up for sure. Back in Hughes, back in for Murph. And James back in the game as well. Back to the original starting five with the exception of Thomas Trahan in the game. Yeah, a guy like Thomas Tran, he came in that he had three three-pointers earlier in the season. That's what they need, some, someone else to come in and, and make some shots. Take a little pressure off Jesse. Jesse gets his first good look. Not there, Thomas Tran with a nice hustle rebound. Back up, couldn't find it to fall. Another rebound by Thomas. Good hustle there, getting extra possessions. Yeah, that's story front rims it. That's a frustration shot right there. Sixteen point lead by Lexington. Another Back carry in. by Mendez. They're, they're giving us a shot to get back in the game here. You know what I mean? There a couple quick turnovers here, a couple cheapies. Um, Redding has to start to convert some of these layups, free throws. Take a little bit of pressure off of uh, off the score and off of uh, off Jesse here. Good idea there. Another unforced turnover there by the Rockets. Currently down by 16 with 2.31 left in the half. Lexington 34, Reading 18. Another three pointer, wow. another bucket by Unger. It's on fire. Already looking to come down to answer. Nice fade away. Front rim, no good. Benson on the uh, rebound attempt. Ball thrown out of bounds off Luke. Lexington ball. It's a little difference there. They're getting an open look. We're getting a contested look. That's the difference right now in the game. Is that too many open looks for them. A lot of contested shots for us. See if they can turn that around here. Why not? Wow. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Darren Onger with another three pointer. Good cut. Good D. Ooh. I was going for the ball there. Yeah, someone's got to do something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey. And Reddy does not come to play. Uh, Lexington has, and it, it, it shows on the scoreboard. All ball, all ball. <clears throat> Maybe that'll wake somebody up. Yeah, I mean, you know, someone's got to do something, right? A la Kevin McHale in the 1984 yeah. NBA Finals and Kurt Rambis. <laughs> 
We talked about you know James getting cheapies, right? We don't want him to get cheap fouls. That wasn't a cheapie. That was not that a, cheapie. a cheapie. That was a little. That looked like the 80s. To your point, the 80s uh, Pistons Celtics games. Credit the Lexington players for keeping their cool. Yeah. This is the second one. Murphy with the rebound. Here comes Benson. Uh, let's make a little, little run here before halftime. Luke being aggressive. Looking to make a move. Trey hand top of the key. Shuffle those feet. Turnover by Redding. They could eliminate the unforced turnovers. They might have a better shot, right? Yeah. It's tough enough with, against great defense and, and not to be hurting yourself as often as they have this half. Here comes Darren Unger. Gonna make a move yeah, on Jesse. Gonna make him make him get by him. Benson defending. Mile for three. Wow. They buried him. They are on fire this half. I bet they made 10 three pointers. Maybe we'll go down and get the stats at halftime and see where we're yeah. at here. Thomas Trahim aggressively going to the hoop. Knocked out of bounds. Reading ball. Scores. Lexington 44, Reading 18. Remember that 14 to 14 tie they had? Yeah. Reading's only scored four points in the. It's a since. 30 to four run. Oh, incredible. 30 to nice, six. Nice run. cut by Benson and the find by Beck and Hughes to stop the bleeding. Lexington by 24 with 38 seconds left to go in the half. I might as well throw it up. Oh, look at that. He missed. Lexington rebound. Yeah, every, everything's going their way here. Great, great move okay. by Beck and Hughes. Reading has, Redding has to. They're not going to. Don't have a twenty-point play in our in our no, back here, right? So just play good defense, chip away. You know, try to get it to where. You know, you have a chance in the fourth quarter to come back and. Uh, Honestly, Randall, I'd settle for a little toughness. Right, yeah. so in the second half here, mm. if I'm Coach Morris and Coach McFadden, I am getting up in their grill. Mm. I don't care about the score, mm. but I'd like to see a little more toughness out of them. Yeah, Lexington came prepared to play, They're knocking down their shots, they're out physicaling us the whole bit, so. All right, as promised, as promised, the seventh grade boys basketball teams from Reading High. You got the black team, and the red team out here, good group of kids. Let me read off some names here. We got Kingston Lewis, Coach Trey. Trey Lewis is his father, who's refing a game tonight. Pete, Mr. Kawi, whose dad is also the coach, also Pete. Mike, a.k.a. Mitch, a.k.a. Miz. Lateplo, Chase Doherty, Chase Williams. Chase Doherty being Jesse, being his brother. Calvin, Karts, Dylan St. Hilaire, Charlie Barton, Liam Doyle, Teddy Palm, Kobe Johnson, Colin Tran, Will Alberts, Sam Alberts, Max Yoder, Max Donegan, Alex Minnie, Nolan Bentley, his father Donovan is one of the coaches, Patrick Terrell, Mike Gallo, Stephen Pizzotti, who, uh, whose father Steve coaches. He's a, a, a Rockets legend. Mike Wondolowski, or Michael Wondolowski. Mike's his father, does a ton of work with Little League and coaching. And Reed Morgan. So we got a five minute running clock here. All right, couple, couple missed buckets. Nolan Bentley to Kingston. Kingston, banks closed Friday night. Here comes Teddy Palm. That's, believe it or not, my kid. I'd be down there yelling at him to stop goofing around if I were there. All right, little bucket by Teddy. Dylan St. Hilaire up top for three. Off the right rim, out of bounds. Ted's getting a talking to by his coach. So he thinks he's Deion Sanders out there. All right, the, the white team. Colin Tran with the ball. Michael Ateplo, a little jumper, no good. Kobe. Kobe Johnson, one of the better players here in Reading. 
uh, on the black team, which is 8-3 uh, and three right now. Kobe's the leading scorer. Good player, plays on AAU. Here goes Pete. Oh, that's why we love Pete. Floor burns, doesn't care. On the ground. Again, his father's one of the coaches. Pete is known for his jerseys. Every practice, he's got an old-school throwback jersey, which is always fun to see what, his, what he shows up with. All right, black ball, Kingston. Right, here's Kobe. Two points for Kobe. Just came off a, a, a win Tuesday night against Drake. Big game tomorrow against Wilmington. All right, Teddy and Kobe. Here's Charlie. Baseline to Liam Doyle. Chase Doherty. Again, his brother Jesse's out here making threes all. Thousand point scorer soon to be for the Rockets. All right, here goes Kobe. Him and Teddy are having a little dance. Not sure what's happening. All right, Liam with the rebound. Liam likes to wear a headband, a Lululemon headband, so we call him Lulu. Also known as Lou. Right, Chase Williams. A little too much on that. Here comes the black team. Liam with the steal. All right, let's see if he goes at Kobe or not. Nope, pulls up for three. No good. Kobe up to Kingston. Not sure what that was. We did not teach him that. His father's the coach, not here. We'll watch this online and, and probably have a little chat with Mr. Kingston after the game. All right, here's Chase. Ooh, good block by Kobe. All right, black ball. Nolan Bentley with the pass. Here's Michael Wondolowski. There goes Kobe for three. Bucket. I think we'll see Kobe out here in a couple years. He's a good, he's a good player. All right, here goes Teddy Palm. Straight at. Another bucket. He's gonna look at this game in about 15 years and be embarrassed by his uh, his antics. But for now, 13-year-olds can do that. Here's Charlie. All right, Lexington's coming back out here for a couple more seconds here. Nice. Patrick Terrell with a nice left hand. He's come a long way. Nice left hand layup there. Got Teddy Palm. Chase Doherty, boom. Maybe a good way to finish the game there as Lexington comes uh, comes back out. Redding, I think Redding's going to be a little late coming out. I'm sure Coach is not all that thrilled with uh, with their first half performance. Good passing, no bucket. Chase Williams, Liam Doyle, with nice bank. Here goes Kobe. Ball's going up. Ball's going up. No good. All right, good job by them. I'm gonna turn it back over to uh, to Mr. Murphy here. He's got a special guest. I'm, I'm joined here with uh, Reading legend Jeff Nelson. Jeff was a longtime teacher, retired teacher here at Reading High School, high school basketball coach, amazing shooting instructor, NBA scout, um, just a just a great basketball mind who's in attendance today. Coach Nelson, Mr. Nelson, how you doing, pal? Good, Jimmy. How are you? Great to see you. Happy New Year. Wish I brought the team a little better luck today. Uh, Lexington is shooting lights out in that first half. Ten threes, I counted. Yeah, so if you're on the bench, Coach, what do you have to do in the second half if you're the Rockets to cool down the Lexington shooting? Um, I think you have to uh, extend our defense a little bit, pick them up a little bit at half court, uh, try to be a little more physical, uh, try to keep our hands up on shooters, try to make them put the ball on the floor to score instead of just being able to catch and 
take wide open threes. So you come out, Rockets down 46-22 at halftime. So they're down 24. They've got a hill to climb. What's the mentality coming out of the locker room for Mor Coach Morrissey and the Rockets? Well, I think you got to take the uh, remaining 16 minutes and break it up into four four-minute periods and just try to win each four minutes. Try to cut it from uh, the lead that it is now, 24, down to maybe, you know, 16, 17. Then in the next four minutes, cut it down to 12 and just keep chipping away and play four minutes at a time and not try to get it back by taking, uh, you know, we, we need to probably be a little more patient on offense and not come down and take the first shot that shows if we made a few passes and made them work a little on defense, we might get a better shot. Coach, I know a lot of the Reading players are huge fans of your son, Tyler, a 2,000 point scorer at Fairfield University, an incredible college career. Now he's playing professionally in Germany. Tell us about Tyler. Well, he's, uh, been, he's been in the pros now for five seasons. Uh, he spent a couple of seasons in the G League playing for Charlotte. Um, got drafted by their G League team, played for them for a couple of years. And then uh, when COVID hit, uh, kind of took away the G League option away and he went overseas and been playing in Germany. Uh, last year he was in the second division. His team won the championship. He was MVP of the playoffs and now they're moved up to the first division which has got a lot of former NBA players and uh, really a strong league, one of the top five or six leagues in the world. And he's having a good season, averaging about 15 and a half points a game, shooting 38% from three. So it's a grind, but he's doing it. Is, does he have uh, aspirations to get back to the NBA someday or is he kind of settling in as that might be his I think, career? Uh, I think his career is gonna be overseas. Mm -hmm. I, you know, he's 27 now. I don't think the uh, NBA takes any chances on 27-year-old guys. I think it's a young players league developing, you know, 18, 19, 20-year-old guys. Um, but, you know, you can have a great career overseas and play to your 35. And um, there's some a lot of teams in that German league that play in the Euro League, and they travel all over Europe. So that might be something he might try to do in the next season. The Rockets and the Minutemen come out to start the second half. Again, Reading down 24 points, and I know that because I had Coach Nelson as a math teacher, and he did a great job. I'm able to, to tell you how much they're down by uh, by doing some quick math. Kudos to you as a teacher, Coach Nelson. Well, we had a lot of uh, hypotenuse and a lot of good uh, math back <laughs> in the day, so we, I think we could figure out we can cut this 24-point lead here. If we can get it down to... Uh, 12 points going into the fourth quarter. We got a chance. You can always you can always make a comeback. We just have to make some, uh, we got to get some stops. That's the number one thing. We got to get some stops. We got to take away their their comfort zone. They, it looks like it's their home game, the way they're shooting the ball. Nice crowd trickling in here for an early game at the Hawks Fieldhouse. Miles gonna take the ball down the, down the court without much trouble there. Not exactly what Coach Morris he wanted at halftime. That was a little too easy. High screen by Murphy. A little physical play here by Mendez and Murphy. Something to keep an eye on. Beck and Hughes looking to attack. Doherty looking to get himself on track. Little in the paint kicks into Benson to Murphy. Little ball fake up and under. Front rim no good. Beck and Hughes with the rebound. Up and in with a potential chance for a three-point play. Just chip away one at a time. But we got to get some stops. And I think, like you said, Coach, I think that Lexington did shoot the lights out in the first half. But, the, you know, we, did, we weren't exactly up in their gym shorts, so to speak. I think that's an adjustment we're going to need to see to make them more uncomfortable around the three-point line. Just got to challenge it a little bit more, keep our hands up. We'll try a little little pressure to slow them down, make them work a little bit. Maybe they'll force some shots like that. Good drive and dish by Mao to number 10, Ryan Asper. Now Lexington with a little full court pressure of their own. Token though, not putting too much pressure on Doherty here. Jesse looking to drive, gets to the hoop. Front rims one, his own rebound. Little baby fade away, front rim again. Frustration continues for Doherty. He'll snap out of it. 
Man-to-man -man defense. Redding gets caught on a potential switch there with Hayes and Beckham. He's a little miscommunication defensively. Beckham, he's looking to make his move. I think Redding has to move the basketball a little bit more. Hayes drives and dishes to Benson. Benson to Murphy. James will look to drive, dish, and lay it up and in with the left hand. Good nice move, good move play. nice move. Got to get a stop here. Lexington on the attack. You have to give Lexington credit on offense. They do a really good job of moving the ball and moving people. They don't do a lot of standing around. Everybody's cutting, everybody's moving. They're hard to guard that way. We're doing a little too much standing around on our end. But we've got a chance. Asapor at the line makes his first one. He's a junior forward, number 10. They've made their free throws and they've made their threes. Makes a shooting coach proud, doesn't it? <laughs> Aiden Beckham just picks up. Oh, no, that was a foul on Lexington. Okay. Yep. Mendez is a physical defender. They're aggressive all around. Got to get Jesse coming off of some screens or some ball moving. He's just standing still. Beck and Houston Benson back to backs. Little two-man game, Benson and Beckenhuis. Luke misses the rim. Here comes Lexington. Backdoor cut. A rare unforced turnover by Lexington. A couple of substitutions in for the Minutemen. Lexington does a good job of rotating guys in and out rather quickly, keeping bodies fresh. That helps with your shooting. Lead is 27 for Lexington with five minutes left to go in the third. Doherty looking for the high screen from Murphy, pulls up, elbow jumper, loses his footing, tosses it under the, under the hoop, and miscommunication there on the pass, and Lexington basketball. Good defense and rebound by Hunter Hayes. Beck and Hughes looking to push the pace. There we go. Nice Trip play. Luke. Couldn't get the bucket, but gets the foul. Get his two free throws. When you're down by this much, you got to push the pace. You have to go and get as many possessions as you can. You got to really attack every time you get a steal or a rebound. The ball's got to go up as quick as you can. You can't walk it up against these guys. Benson cuts the lead to 26 with 4.50 left to go in the third. Makes a second. Extend the pressure a little bit. Try to make them take time off the clock. Little unforced errors here or there. There you go, a little better. Guy's had a career night. I don't know what he's averaging, but. Benson stepped out of bounds there. Lexington basketball. Rockets will look to put a little, little full court pressure on. Might be the time to consider trying to trap a little bit, take some chances on defense, try to. There we go. Gar guarding Unger a little bit better in the three-point line in the second half for sure. Certainly a, an adjustment at halftime. There we nice, go. We got to go. We got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Murphy to Benson. There you go. Up and in with a hoop. Extend that defense. Good job by James to get back. There you go. We did do to miss a few. 
Back in Houston, Hunter Hayes. Hayes to Murphy. Here come Push. the Rockets. Gotta go, gotta go. Tack, take it, James. It's the right mindset, though. Be aggressive, attack the basket. Fatigue setting a little bit for the Rockets here, I think. Mendez looking to go on Murphy. Unger looking to shoot one up. This one's a little bit contested. Fr first time front rim. He gets his own rebound. Front rim again. Got to go. And here comes Darty. Two guys move it. Jesse makes an aggressive move. Front rim. Beck and Hughes with the hustle defense. In comes the sophomore tandem of Murphy and Palm. And junior, number 22, Hayes Littlefield. Subbing out Benson Murphy and Hunter Hayes. Timeout by the Minutemen. 56-31 with three minutes left to go here. The Rockets don't look to be chipping away at it like they hope to coming out of halftime. Now, this, this is a Lexington team that lost to Burlington, Jeff. And um, we had a heck of a game versus Burlington, only a, a two-point loss early in the season. So I'm not sure if this is typical Lexington play, but they've certainly been impressive here today. Now, they've played hard at both ends. Uh, they've, they've done a really good job to frustrate Jesse tonight, make him a lot of his shots are contested, a little bit off balance, challenging him. They, they're showing... A, the, the way you talk about it on defense is you show a lot of traffic against your best player, and they're sending a lot of guys to help and uh, making it tough on Jesse to get easy baskets. And we just haven't hit any outside shots tonight. We haven't hit any threes. And they've got, you know, the way the game's played now, they've got 10, 11, 12 threes. I'm not sure we have more than one or two. And that's, a, that's your difference right there in the game. What, I, what I'd like to see here from, from Doherty and Beck and Hughes is, you know, it's easy to be a great leader and have positive energy when, when the ball's going through the hoop. Let's see if, how they can handle some adversity here. Maybe Palm and Murphy can bring some young energy to the, to the group. Three-pointer by 23, Donovan Jones, but his 12th tonight. He's playing like Donovan Peoples, Jones. Jesse up and under, forces the action, gets to the rim. Good hoop. Got to get some stops. Don't reach. There you go. We got a steal and a layup. That's how you do it. Do it one basket at a time on defense. Good aggressive D by Aiden. Nice assist by Jack Murphy. Right into the full court pressure. I like your idea about a little trap here too, maybe. Got to go after people. You got to make some chances. Just don't reach. If you reach, you're going to leave them wide open. It's going in again. Donovan Peoples Jones. Here we go. This one. Here Run. Comes Got a guy that's open. Palm on the wing. Dumps it to Here Jack Murphy. It's a foul. Hope he's not hurt. Uh, a little, I think he little. got hit where you don't like want to get hit. Yeah. Thought he got fouled. Little field to Doherty. Roll to the basket. Jack Murph with the hustle rebound, looking to be aggressive. Good take. That's in. Good shot. There we go. Now that we're getting our hands on a lot more balls. They're not making them oh. like they did in the first half, but we got to clear those offensive rebounds. Can't give them second chances. We've all had those nights, Jimmy, when the ball doesn't go in and Jesse's a little frustrated, but he's just got to keep his composure and let the game come to him. I think he's forcing a little bit, and that's that's natural when you're down by a lot and you're a leader and you're trying to bring your team back. Got to love his effort. Andrew Jack Vaughney, number 11, into the game. 
Lexington definitely has cooled off. Maybe a little too late, but with the 126 left in the third, Lexington 61, Reading 35. Again, Jack Vaughney in the game, junior number 11, co-captain of the Reading football team next year. Captain elect. Lexington showing some pressure. They don't care that they're up by a million. They're going to pressure you as long as the ball's in play. High screen by Littlefield. Doherty looking to make a move. Up and under. No good. Hayes. Littlefield with another hustle rebound out to Jack Murph. Murphy to Hayes. Good pass. Good play. Good pass. That will also take the pressure off Doherty a little bit, right? If some of these young guys can make some plays like that a little more often. Right now, it's pretty simple. We've got to get oh, them to one up. shot. True. They can't have two or three shots. Defensive miscommunication there. That, was a, that one was too easy for Lexington. They're being aggressive. Doherty pulls up. No good. Palm fighting for the rebound. Lexington comes away with it. Possible travel. Good call. Hayes Littlefield picks up the Lexington uh, opponent. He might be the nicest player in a Reading uniform tonight. <laughs> Such a good kid, hard worker. Very nice. Here comes Andrew Jack Vaughney. He's in the Littlefield screen. Doherty checking the clock with 30 seconds left. Trying to get Mendez's hands right off of Doherty. I think Jesse's got to trust his teammates sometimes when he has the ball. He's got to give it up and hope and have faith that he'll get it back. If he moves it a little bit more around the perimeter and cuts to the basket, he might get some easier shots. Calling for the high screen from Littlefield with 16 seconds left in the, in the quarter. Jesse, little pull up jumper. Bucket is good. Seven seconds left in the quarter. Well, Jeff, it was a pleasure having you here. Thanks so thanks. much for joining us. Thanks for, for letting your, me stop by. Great it's commentary. Nice to, nice to be here and uh, watch your boys play and watch Reading uh, compete. It, uh, you have to give Lexington a lot of credit. They shot the ball great and played good defense, and that's a winning formula. So thank you very much, Jim, for letting me stop by. Happy New Year, pal. Always Same a pleasure. To you. Same to you. Murphy says hello. He was telling me, he was texting me some stories. I can't <laughs> we, can't, we can't tell Jeff Nelson stories on the airwaves. That is for sure. So, Randall, yep. I want to know. Uh, Am I benched? Am I? What are you? Well, <laughs> Teddy. Teddy, oh, God. Teddy stole the show at halftime. I mean. Are you kidding me? I mean, what a hot dog. Seriously. The, the sweats. The team <laughs> looked a little like Teen Wolf out there. I don't know what. He, him and Kobe had some. I think they had some premeditated moves. Now, his older I mean, brother, Jake, is mild-mannered, quiet, uh, by the book, right? And Teddy, has he got a wild streak in him or something? Uh, What's going well, on? Uh, whatever, some kind of a streak. I'm not sure where he gets <laughs> it from, but uh, needless to say, his mother was texting me during, uh, she said, why is he wearing sweats? I said, I don't know. You, you, you keep down here with him. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't dress him. So, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. He had the, at least he got rid of his mullet, and now oh, yeah. he got the buzz cut. Yeah. Not a lot of buzz cuts, Jim, out there, so he's a bit of a trendsetter. Yeah. I like it. So, uh all right, here we go. Hey, Rockets go with Benson and Murphy. A little more fire out of the Rockets there at the end there. Jake Some, Palm, something. Hayes Littlefield, and Jesse Doherty. Benson's looking inside. Yeah, honestly, I feel like we're, we're on Jesse a lot, right? Because, mm. I mean, listen, when you're the star, yeah. that's, that's who people, you know, talk about and want to come see. And he's, uh, he's shown great effort here today. And, you know, he's a little help from his teammates from time to time. And hopefully he'll get that here in the fourth. Yeah, you're going to have off days, you know. Um, Murphy to Palm. Palm for three. There you go. Buries it. Good kick. That's a future right there of, of, of running basketball. Love the energy when the young kids come in and can do some things like Murphy and, and Palm. Take good. a little pressure off the seniors. Yeah, I mean, good opportunity. You know, down by 20, you know, it's probably game's a little out of hand. So good opportunity and a, a high intensity for some of the young kids to, to step up a little bit. So we'll see. Jack Murphy, number 25, sophomore. Competing for the quarterback spot at, on the on the varsity football team next year. Dribble handoff to Doherty. And they're not making it easy on him. I mean, it's Lexington is awfully physical too, and, yeah. and 
nothing's really being called. Dart will pull for three. Yeah, that's not the shot the coach wants right now, though. Yeah, things not going well for the Rockets right no. now. And, you know, what you want to see, we've all been there, right? Yeah, we've all been definitely. there when, you, when you're getting blown out, no chance to win the game. Can you show some, you know, character and some toughness and adversity and, you know, keep playing hard. Don't let the frustration get to you. And uh, finish strong, as strong as possible. There'll be other games. Mao makes the free throw. The two things you can, you know, effort and attitude. You want to see effort, control effort and attitude. And Lexington extends the lead to 26. Here comes Benson to Hayes. Little field. Yep. Hayes running the floor nicely. Luke with a nice find. Murphy trying to stay in front of Mao. Nah. I feel like they've been doing that to us they, the whole game. They have. <laughs> they have. Maybe it's a sophomore call or something like that, but. Uh... Coach Morris, he agrees with you, Randall. Yeah. Letting the official know about it. Onger looking to make his move. Dribble handoff to Mendez. Jones steps on the baseline. Yeah, good defense. Turnover, good. ball back to the Rockets. You're keeping them in front of you. Lead is 24 with six minutes left here in the game. Girls are starting to warm up here. They're playing next. We will bring you the girls basketball action too here live on, on YouTube. Murphy to Palm. Palm to Doherty. Going to make a move to Benson. A nice mid-range jump shot comes up a little short. Lexington on the move. That's too easy. Too easy for Ronger. Although, boy, did he cool off from the first half, didn't he? Little too, too little too late, but... Yeah, they've all cooled off. Made a couple threes in the second half, but, I mean, they must have made 10 or 12 in the first half. I'm yeah, that first half was silly. Yeah. And the second, really the second quarter, right? And that was the... Just can't buy a bucket. Good finish. There He's a little field staying with it. A nice uh, bright spot today has been 22 Hayes Littlefield mm. with his hustle, his rebound, yeah. rebounding. Big, strong kid. Misses the free throw. I don't know what we are from the line today, Jim, but that, has, not good. that hasn't helped either. It's not good. The line or the three-point line. Anything with a line in it, we've, we've been lousy. Palm defending in the low post. Good help. Beck and Hughes back in the game. Good defensive possession yeah, here for the Rockets. You wanted in the first half. Good, good perimeter Bush. defense there in that possession. Luke Benson on the fly again, up and, and under, one. hooping the harm. Good battle yeah, here. That's, good battle. I mean, that's they're, they're too few, but that was a nice defensive possession there, getting out on the three-point yep. shooters, making it difficult on Lexington. We talked about that. You know, get the rebound, get out. Mm -hmm. You know, get past that first line of defense. We've done a much better job of that here in the second half and. You know, if you do that, you get you get layups. The lead is currently 20, 68 to 48, with five minutes left in the fourth. James Murphy back in the game. We got the starting five plus Jake Palm. This kid he carries the ball. That in the ref, he got called for that twice already. Tonight. You don't see that very often, but. High screen and roll here for Lexington. Beckham Hughes jumping up for the trap. Mendez the driving dish. Nice play. Benson with the rebound. 4.47 left in the game. Rockets looking to put a mini run together. Beckham Hughes taking the ball hard to the hoop. And one. Couldn't get it to follow his own rebound. Back up there and you in. Go. There you go. Make him sweat a little bit here, Jim, you know? 17. Got it to 17 with four, four minutes left. Got to get up. Got to get up. And this is when you start thinking about the next time you're going to play these guys, right? Yeah. Let them know you're not going to roll over. Good deal. Nice defense by Jake. Nice rebound by Murphy. 
And when we go to Lexington, the gym is much different. It's, the, mm. it's, 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 a, it's a small, old school gym. Yeah. Uh, great atmosphere to play yeah. a high school basketball game in Lexington. Score is 68 to 51 with 419 left in the game. You just don't see a lot of teams coming here and knock down three pointers like they did. You know, this, this is a little difficult play. If, if you played basketball, the, the, the depth perception in a big field house can be difficult. It's much easier, at least from my perspective, to shoot in kind of the more traditional gym. You just don't see kids coming here making three, four in a row, let alone three kids on the team doing that. Yeah. You know? That was so. uh, exceptional shooting in the first half by the minimum. But again, I will say, Redding wasn't exactly right. making it difficult on them either. No. I, I'll give you the first one, maybe right. the second one. Yeah. But after you hit two in a row, yeah. Dude, yeah. I'll make, in that I gotta get you, you're going, I got to get you to go by me. <laughs> That's right. Okay. That's right. And, and, and they didn't yeah. adjust till it was no. far too late. Big day tomorrow. The Rocket team is heading into the Northeastern Drexel. Uh, basketball game, a little field trip, a team builder. We're going to go Rockets. see your statue. All three levels, uh, JV, varsity, yeah. and freshman. Maybe a couple of seventh graders. We, we're going to have a couple seventh graders coming couple, in. Uh, sure. A bunch of kids going to that. It'll be a lot of fun. Appreciate Noon, you. Noontime kickoff should be a fun day. Appreciate you pulling that together. You got it. Northeastern was nice enough to uh, comp the tickets. What's their record the this year? They got a good program, or what's That's their? A good question. I don't know. Um, as James Murphy just lays out his his pal there. Mile on the screen. James has had a couple, couple big picks. One thing, Lexington, they don't like to communicate on those picks. Uh, Another good block by James. Get him out of bounds. Good defense. Hey, a little fight in us. We yeah. got a little fight in us. Yeah, I know. Uh, Lead 17. You know, four minutes to go. Mendez came over and he got hit by a couple screens in a row. And he wasn't, he wasn't too thrilled with the, the guys whose man was setting the screen, not letting them know. Yeah, that's a communication thing, right? Your totally. teammates have to yeah. say, hey, killed. it's coming. Especially if it's, a, you know, James or, hey, you know, some of these bigger kids. I mean, they're looking to, <laughs> they're looking to headhunt a little bit. Jake Palm and Beck and Houston in the backcourt. You know, this comeback has been interesting because, you know, Jesse's been a little bit off, right? We've talked about that. And everybody else has stepped up a little bit. A little bit. You know? Yep. That's what you need. All right, here's where you're down by 17, you cut back. These are the free throws. You know, no time's going off the clock. Just chip away. There you go. Murphy makes the first. Shooter's touch. It's an area of improvement for James this year is his free throw shooting for yeah. sure. Free throw shooting, the left hand going strong left. You can see the, see the improvement for sure. Two for two at the line. Rockets looking to put some pressure on the Minutemen here. This kid carries the ball. Let's see if the ref gets him for it. Jake's making him work. Yep. A little trap yeah. by Beckenhuis. A little good challenge. Good challenge. You gotta get That's the rebound. exactly what the Rockets yep. need. They look like a different team when they challenge a three-point shot right. like that. All right. Move the ball around. Doherty to Murphy. A great yes. dish and a good great pass. finish and a foul. There okay, go. we there got go. something going. There we got go. something going here. See, Jesse was just waiting for him, waiting for him to fill that lane and a great Great fill, great finish. 68-55. Cut the lead to 13 with three minutes and 21 seconds left to go. You can see Redding starting to be a little more aggressive on D, taking some shots, going for a little oh. bit more loose balls. Jake with a nice hustle rebound out to Bex. Aiden looking into James. Oh, ah. come on, guys. Miscommunication yeah, there with those two nice. guys. All right. Three minutes left, leads Ooh. 13. Oh, backcourt, backcourt, yep. backcourt. That's the aggressiveness, aggressiveness though, that's, that you want right now. We gotta make, gotta take a couple chances. Do. Leads 13 with three minutes to go, not I think insurmountable. That's Aiden's fifth. Here comes Jack Murphy in for Bex, senior co captain. Uh, let's see Jack ramp it up here a little on defense. Aiden Beckenhuis, a three year varsity starter on both the football and basketball teams, an outstanding. Mm. Athletic, athletic career at Reading. I love the way he plays. Always plays hard, always, always plays, plays tough. Hard. He's got a, he's, he's nursing an ankle, as you know, and you'd never know it by how hard mm. he's playing. And we were joking in the Melrose game, he was supposed to play limited minutes, and I don't think he played. <laughs> well, three three much, overtimes. Much in the way of yeah. limited to, about it. There you go. Step in, good, good, good defense, good contest. 
good. Good rebound by Jesse Doherty. Here come the Rockets, down 13. Be a nice time for Doherty to get hot yeah, now, wouldn't it? He's cooking here. There All we right, go. here we go. There Leads we go. 10. Leads there 10. Lexington with a, with a momentum timeout. And just when you thought they were buried, Coach, yeah. here we go. Yeah, 68-58, 10 point game. You know, with the three point, with the, with the shot clock here in high school, you know, you, you can get some possessions, yeah. right? At the youth level and other, yeah. other levels, you, you know, you can really run this two minutes up. But with the shot yeah. clock, you're going to get some possessions if you get hot and continue to defend the three point line like they have been. And we're we're going to be in the double bonus here. Yeah. They got nine fouls. The so next foul on them. We got two shots. Uh, it's funny, you know, Jesse there, the previous couple has got, he got James involved. Yep. Great pass. Yep. You could see him, energy just lift him there up. There was you a know? spring in there. There was something else. On that shot. And then that shot right there, a yes. little but better spacing, you know, got a nice look. And that's his shot, that little, that little hesitation step back. That's yep. his shot. Yep. No more front rims, right? You get that energy, you get that yeah. little bit more lift, and, and you're Defense, there. Defense, getting other kids involved, getting other players involved. I mean, that's how you, if it's not going your way, that's how you get yourself back in the game mentally. Again, I think the Rockets were down as much as 27 in this half. It, yeah, Cut it to 10, more, yeah. 68 to 58 with 235 left. Lexington's Lexington ball. sweating. They're sweating here a little bit, right? That's what you, you chip away, chip away, all of a sudden. Those three pointers that were flowing in the first half are coming up a little short, a little off. And Redding's done a much better job of getting those rebounds and, and pushing the pace. I like the energy of the sophomores here, too. Murphy yeah. and Palm defensively yeah. making some things happen. Yep. He's going to get a carry here, Jim, we're calling it. That's a tough one right there. Have they called it on Jake? I would like to see both Palm and Murphy make, make them, you know, back, back yeah. to the old days. Make them go left. Make them go <laughs> left. <laughs> right? I Jake, think I had a tattoo. I think Mendes I tattooed that on Jake's, you know, somewhere on him. You know, make him go left. Mendez misses the first. Is it? Which, Good which hand does he use? Is right. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, show, not rocket science. Show me how you go left. And they go the wrong side when they're in fifth grade now. Not the other left. Mendez misses them both. Luke Benson with the rebound. Here come the Rockets. All right. Doherty on the move. He drives, puts it up and in. The lead is eight. And a foul. A, no, timeout. Timeout. A timeout. Yep. Timeout good. by the Rockets. Good Cut time the lead out here. to eight with 2.17 left. So you're saying we have a chance. <sighs> I mean, they're, you know, they didn't miss any free throws. They didn't miss much in that first half. And that's two missed free throws. We go down and score. Um, good defense. A little more in control on offense. Crowd's going wild. The energy they're bringing is great tonight. Nice crowd. Nice Better crowd. crowd, yeah. I think the you can see the JV teams here, the girls teams here, a lot more parents. And one of the, things, one of the reasons why we want to get the seventh graders a halftime out is to get the parents, get the kids here, and get more people. We, know, we talk a lot about the basketball program and really wanting to energize it a little bit with maybe a little bit of a band, uh, some music, you know, concessions some things that we've talked about to get, um, you know, a little bit more atmosphere at these games. Yeah, and, and, and starting in February, uh, the boys and the girls flip. So the boys will have the later games, right. you know, a Friday night game, yeah. a late game. We'll, yeah. we'll get some students out here. But in the meantime, we've got a ball game here. 217 left. The Rockets down by eight. Uh, they're going to go with Palm, Murphy, Murphy right. Jack, Murphy James, Luke Benson, and Jesse Doherty here down the stretch. They're going to go with what got him here, as they say. Again, Beckenhuis has, has fouled out, so he's unavailable. Oh, good job by Jake yeah. being aggressive. Let's put Mendez at the line. What? Yep. I, I like that strategy. He just missed two. That's our. Uh, that's the sixth, sixth team foul. So I think we got. They got. Am I looking at that wrong? Seven. They got two there. It said five, and it went to seven. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this. You know, he just missed two. I don't mind that. <clears throat> you know, Lexington, one of the things they haven't done is taken a lot of, a lot of uh, time off the clock on their possessions, which has really played well, too. Oh, get the rebound. Yeah, that's a killer. Here comes Jack Murphy, trying to push the action here. Good move. Good move, good move. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. He, he was looking for that offensive foul off that first dribble. 
terrible call. Terrible call. Terrible call. Good thing I'm on the headsets and not the stands right now, but it's probably better. Better off. Jack Murphy defending Mao. Looks to get ooh, the ooh. gets the tip from behind, but he recovers it. Lexington looking to it leads 10 now. Yep. Looking to bleed so yeah, some I clock. Think you got to start 10 by you know, be super aggressive. Go for the steal. Put him on the line if you need to. It just seems like that, if you're going to call the fouls, right? <laughs> With the body there. None, neither coach is very happy right now, Jim. No, a lot of intensity in the coming out of both coaches aimed at the officials. Lead is 10, minute 29 left. I think the Rockets would, that, that missed free throw rebound put back yeah. was, was a killer. They could have cut that lead to six. Yeah, they got, you know, it's when you draw it up. Hey, he gets the ball, miss two, foul him, put him on the line. Make a miss. Know, make and, a miss, yeah. and then he misses, and then, you know, somebody sneaks in for the, uh, for that rebound. Yeah, that was a, that was a big opportunity. That, you know, this, when you're down by that many, everything has to go right. Mm -hmm. You know, everything has to go right. And it was for about five minutes there to cut it to, you know, I mean, down by what, you know, you said 27, whatever else, to, uh, to was it eight or was it to 10? Um, it was, it was eight. Yeah. It was eight at the time. Yeah. And I brought, brought it back, back up to 10. All right, so now I think you you got to start, you know, you foul within game. 10 seconds. You know, maybe you, you do a little. Um, See if you can get a steal. A little trap, trap, little something, yeah. and then you got to foul. You know, reminds me, what, what was the game that was similar? We were, we were clawed back in it. Similar, we were down, clawed back in it. Um, the Burlington game. Was it Burlington? Yeah. That was a game we had, a you know, a shot to tie it right at the end. Rockets looking to trap. That's looking to trap right and there, move. Right there, that's guy. Yep. Yeah, Mendez and the coach had a, a, a little little uh, disagreement on the sideline there. I don't think he, uh, I think he's a kid that you can get under his skin a little bit and rattle him. So we'll see. We'll see. He's oh, missed his last three. We'll see what happens here. Again, big rebound here with, ben, you know, Benson and Murphy under the hoop. Got to secure this rebound on a miss. Mendez makes it, makes the lead 11. With a minute 25 left. Mendez has played a lot of minutes today too, showing real yeah. fatigue. Yeah. Misses the second, uh, but of course, Lexington yeah. gets the rebound, winds up at the Steal hands it. of Doherty, and he's rocking and rolling. Take it to the basket. Uh, up and in for two. Nine point game. Lead. Well, it's funny, they had the rebound again, and then somehow <laughs> Jesse yes. stole it from him. I think number 10, I think, has gotten there twice. He's the guy that got the last one, so really got to watch out for him on those. S the score is 73-64 with a minute 17 left in the game. So, to be honest, Coach Nelson versus me. In, uh, in what, a personality contest? Or just, like, doing the job? I mean, am I invited back next game? Listen, or he has he's got a lot he of... He has <laughs> NBA experience. I know. I got seventh um, grade coaching experience. He's got some good <laughs> stories, but I wouldn't trade it come on, for the world right come now. Come on. Now, Coach Nelson's great. He does a lot of shooting uh, uh, clinics, and he's he's you know been working with with all these kids for a lot of and years. And Jake yeah. and, and you know again, I was joking about you know call it Sean Murphy's out there. You know, Sean was texting me. I remember Coach Mur or uh, Coach Nelson, whatever else. So, so real quick call outs. Uh, my mom in Oregon, my buddy Quinn in Portland, who we watch each other's games. Uh, as you know, I, I grew up there, so this is kind of how we do things with watching each other's uh, kids in, in sports. Um, uncle Aaron, Jake's uncle is always out there watching. So Aaron, hello to you. You got anybody real quick or no? No, I got nobody. All right, Everybody enough. I know is here. <laughs> fair enough. All right, foul this kid. He's a freshman. Oh, a little steal. Oh, oh, just missed it. Yeah, that's just a kid you got to foul 21 if he has the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Benson puts it up and in, and the foul. All right. You know, I think some of these kids just, the, the, the fouling on purpose doesn't come intuitive to them, right? Mm -hmm. They're so used to it. You know, 21 gets the ball. Uh, Sam Meyerberg, a freshman, hasn't played much. You've got to get a foul on that kid. Put him on the line. 
I will say, Randall, you're getting a lot more comfortable. The first time we did this, I yeah. had to pull stuff out of you. Yeah. Now you're in the flow, man. Oh, you're rocking. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Love it. Just don't go, just don't do any close-ups wide on our on our wives, please, because <laughs> I'm still not going to fall for that one. Luke makes it eight. But I will say, I see him over there. They're watching the game very intently. All right, foul him. You got to foul him. You got to foul him right there. Oh, come on, Jack, get that ball. Yeah, this is just too much time right here. You got a foul. Rocket's trying to take a foul here. Yeah. 50 seconds left. Eight point lead. Considering this was, again, a 27 point deficit. Mm. Nice job by the Rockets clawing back. Be free. They went on a 30 to 4 run. Something like, I mean, it was a. Yeah. There was a period there where it was, I mean, they were on fire. We just couldn't buy a bucket. You got a little crowd, a little crowd, Jim. At the line number 21, Meyer Berg. Another ninth grader, yeah. making his free throws. Puts the minimum back up by nine. 50 seconds left. Misses the second one. Murphy with the rebound. Here comes Doherty. Got to push the pace here. Ball's going up here. All right. Jump ball. Oh, he pushed him. How about that? How about you call that? Yeah. Everybody saw it. Yeah. Everybody saw it. Yeah, now he's going to go after the guy that got pushed. Well, that's... <clears throat> that looks like 36 seconds left to go. Lexington up 76 to 67, a nine point lead. Referees maintaining control of this one. Blatant shove by the Lexington player. Nope, just, just suggested that he doesn't do it again. No big deal. Uh, we got to get a quick foul here. We haven't. They get it in. You gotta. Foul by Littlefield. Jones will go to the line. Yeah, Jones hit. He had a couple. What three, three, three? In the, he's been pretty quiet, you know. But the first half, he was he was part of that barrage, that three-point barrage. Ten. They had ten in the first. Ten. First half. Yeah. Yeah, I think he had what he had three. Unger had probably four, four, you know, four of those, four mm -hmm. or five of those. Yeah, kid's a good shooter. Peoples hit a couple too. He had mm. probably three himself. Yeah. Makes his first free throw. Makes it back up to a 10 point lead with 34 seconds left. Probably not enough time to come back in this one. Rebound goes yeah. to McCarthy. How many rebounds do you think they've gotten off free throws today? Close to double digits. I mean, it's a yeah. lot. It's too many. It is too many. Especially when you know the kid's under pressure and the ball's likely to come. You know, in seventh graders, I said there's probably about a 70% chance that ball's not going in. So just pretend like it's not and, and, and crash the boards like it's, like it's not going to. Unger makes them both. Makes it a 12 point lead. Right, Got to move. 28 seconds left to go. Dirty puts one up. Reading girls versus Lexington on deck next. You definitely see more, you know, the, the 530 game versus the seven game. You see more, you know, more, more of the kids here uh, yep. showing up a little bit late. People showing up after, you know, 530, if you work in the city or whatnot, it's definitely tougher to get here. Mendez misses, misses his first free throw. <clears throat> 12 point advantage now for Lexington. He makes the second one. I let him go here. Yeah. So All right. So, hey, look, a good, you know, final score is uh, Lexington 80, Reading 67. But considering uh, what was, how where it was. What's the halftime score? Are we down by, what, 25? 24. 24 at half. Yeah. So, Reading wins the second half by 
you know, 12, 14 points. And really the fourth quarter. I mean, that, the game stayed at that 25, 20, 30 in the third quarter. Um, Good effort. It yeah, makes the lineup out, a little the, bit. You come out of the half, uh, out of the half down 24. Yeah. Um, you know, you want to see some fight. And, and Coach Morrissey got the guys to fight. Yeah. They started defending better. Yeah. Doing some things. And, um, yeah. you know, we'll see that team again for sure. And the next time we'll be ready. Yeah, good. A team like that, I mean, you get that big of a hole. You know, again, everything has to go right. And they, they got it down to, you know, single digits. That, you know, how they got it on the line, missed the free throw. You know, they get the rebound, put it back in. You know, just everything has to go right. And, that, you know, a couple things bounced there, didn't bounce their way at the end there. But, um, yeah, overall, good good fight comeback. I, I'll be fun to see them play them again, you know, at their place. You know, I think they have a good crowd at their place. Um, I'm not sure they're going to make 10 threes, you know, again and a half. Yeah, I mean, the good news here, Randall, we haven't seen a bad game. The Stoneham game was a little mm -hmm. lopsided. We, you know, ran out on them a yeah. little bit. But, yeah. I mean, Burlington, Melrose, uh, Lexington, some good high school yeah. basketball games here. A lot, it's a lot of parity in the yeah. league, and every yeah. week is a is a great game, which is all you can really expect. Yeah, and if you don't come prepared, you know, uh, I think Stoneham came in here not, you know, they, they weren't prepared. We came out, on, you know, we are up by, what, 30 at halftime, whatever it was. And Lexington was definitely the more prepared team tonight, and they got, they got their... Uh, they got going a little bit, got cooking a little bit, and they ran, you know, that, that run was just insurmountable for us to come back from. So you want to stick around and do the girls' game? <laughs> no, they don't pay us. Enough. Where's Coach Nelson? They don't pay us. I heard us Coach enough. Nelson wants to. Uh, <laughs> no, listen, if you want to talk to Pam Higgins and put me on the payroll, I, yeah. could, I could use the side money. No, seriously, um, for the girls, though, I mean, this is available, right? So it, it, it is cool to have a couple girls' parents or, you know, this was just Jim and I were having a beer when, hey, we should do the game, you know, like football. And, uh. So. I mean, I'd do it if they uh, we're here anyway, but not not tonight because we're not prepared. I don't right. know. The, I don't know the girls well enough yet to I'll really have to do my homework. As we, you we know, have to, I have to do some homework. Wyatt's going to be here. Wyatt's going to maintain uh, the uh, coverage. So thank you, Wyatt. Uh, for Randall Palm, I'm Jim Murphy. We'll see you next time. Yep. Next game is what? We're away Tuesday yep. at um, at Watertown. That should be a good game. Don't know if they stream those games. That's up mm -hmm. to the home team, of course. Yep. But. Uh, other than that, and by the way, there may be a game or two where I'm, I'm away. You may be solo in this gig. So right. we'll talk well, about that I'll, after. Uh, Maybe recruit somebody yeah, to help I'll you out. Yeah, I'll recruit someone to, to, uh, to back you up here. So. Awesome. Thanks so much for listening. Good uh, victory by Lexington Miniman today. Hard-fought battle by the Rockets, and good luck to the uh, girls' team. Thanks, everybody. Have a great Have night. Good night.